Sanaflow is the world leader in the design and manufacture of macerating and grinding toilet systems. We also offer the best drain water pumping systems in the market. Since its founding in France in 1958, Sanaflow has grown into a global company and has sold over 7 million units to date. We pride ourselves on the quality of our products. They have proven to be highly reliable across multiple applications, from being installed in some of the world's most recognized buildings to home and personal use. Sanaflow offers a complete line of innovative plumbing solutions and, thanks to its above-floor plumbing technology, eliminates the need to break the concrete or the floor. Sanaflow offers several solutions for residential and commercial applications, including external and self-contained macerating systems, external and packaged grinding systems, as well as drain and condensate pumps. These units macerate or grind and then remove black water, typically from a toilet, and gray water from sinks, showers, washing machines, and more. Sanaflow systems work with the same operating principle. Once the toilet is flushed and gray water is drained into the pump through its side inlets, the water level rises and the blades turn on, automatically breaking it down into small particles. The waste is then pumped through the internal discharge elbow to a three-quarter or one-inch pipe. Once the unit turns off, a built-in non-return valve closes, preventing anything from re-entering the pump. Choosing the best solution to meet your needs is the first step towards completing your project successfully. Here's what you need to determine in order to make this decision. 1. Begin your selection based on the application, whether it involves gray or black water, and if it's for residential or commercial applications. 2. Find out how many fixtures are being installed and drained into the system in order to establish how many gallons per minute the pump needs to evacuate. 3. Calculate the total head the pump needs to overcome by adding the vertical lift and friction losses throughout the discharge pipe, including from both valves and elbows. 4. Use the pump curve as indicated in SantaFlow's manual or professional catalog to verify if the requirements are within the pump capabilities. Here's an example. If you're looking to install a complete bathroom for a commercial application with a toilet, a shower, and two sinks, the estimated flow rate is 12 gallons per minute. Your unit will have to pump up 20 feet vertically and 10 feet horizontally using a 3 quarter inch pipe without a gravity slope. This means that the estimated head loss is 23 feet. We now know that for this application, the system would need to pump at least 12 gallons per minute at a total of 23 feet of head. By reviewing the pump curve, it shows that at 23 feet, the pump will discharge 20 gallons per minute, which satisfies our requirement. Both the Santa Best Pro and the Santa Grind Pro are perfect systems for this application. Once you've determined the right solution for your job, keep SantaFlow's 10 golden rules in mind during installation. Rule number one. All discharge pipework should either be copper, PVC, or CPVC capable of handling the pressure exiting the pump. A ball valve should be installed for easy removal and service of the system, and pipes must be supported across the length of the discharge run. Rule number two. The first horizontal run cannot exceed more than 24 inches prior to the vertical run. At the end of the vertical lift and after turning horizontally, the discharge pipe should be sloped one quarter inch per foot until drained into the main sewer line. It's important to make sure the discharge goes into the septic tank or main sewer, not into an open drain. Rule number three. Bends should be smooth with a long radius and not tight elbows. Use long sweeping 90 degree elbows or two 45 degree elbows back to back. Rule number four. When having multiple systems, each discharge pipe should run separately into the main sewer or connection through the top using a Y fitting to prevent backflow. Rule number five, a shower and or bathtub should be raised off the floor by a minimum of six inches for macerating systems and drain pumps and eight inches for grinder systems. The pipe draining into the pump should have a minimum of a quarter inch per foot gravity fall. Rule number six, when pumping directly downwards more than nine feet, an anti-siphon valve must be installed at the highest point of the discharge line to eliminate siphonage in the pipe. Otherwise, the diameter of the downward pipe must be increased. Rule number seven. If the unit is positioned behind a wall, install an access point as close as possible to ensure easy maintenance and servicing of pipes, water valve, 
GFCI plug and pump. Rule number eight, ensure that air flows freely in both directions for proper venting. Do not use one-way mechanical or studer vents as these restrict airflow. Neither the Sandy Compact nor the Sandy Star need external vents as both have internal ones. Check with your local plumbing official for more information. Rule number nine, insulate the pipes if exposed to freezing conditions and empty the units to avoid damage due to extreme cold or frost, particularly during the winter. Plumber's antifreeze can also be used to help insulate during the colder months. Rule number 10. The unit comes with a three-prong plug, which should be connected to a 110-volt electrical outlet. For safety reasons, we recommend using a GFCI plug. Note that our Sandy Cubic 2 is the only system that requires a 220 to 240-volt power supply. Install a bathroom, kitchen, or laundry room wherever you need it with these simple tips. Look out for our other how-to videos to find out more. All Sanifold products comply with North American standards. Our toilet systems meet EPA criteria for water sense high performance and water efficient toilets and are CSA approved. Contact Sanifold toll free at 1-800-363-5874 or visit us online at saniflow.ca.